Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. I do a lot of videos on IT, cybersecurity, education, and career things. And today's video is just going to be a continuation of the resume review series. And this time I have a really interesting resume from an Air Force veteran with over 30 years of experience. And this resume like uh, is quite good. I looked through it. There's like all kinds of like experience and like cool job titles and stuff in here. I kind of noticed a couple things that I feel like it really needs to be like distilled down quite a bit. Like I see a lot of redundancy in here. And, and of course there's like a lot of military words that like I don't know what they mean so I'll try to like go through it and civilianize it a little bit and then make it nice and succinct so the way it is now it's probably like it's probably good to go like if they're going to apply to like a, some defense position like a GS position or something like this but I'll just kind of do my best to to civilianize this one if that makes sense so I think this video will be like super interesting and useful for anybody but especially people who are in the military and like considering to get out and kind of go into the civilian world uh, so go ahead and smash the like button three times and let's get started on this. So as usual, I'm just going to use this rubric over here with like the spelling and grammar glanceability and whatnot. And I, I won't necessarily like do these in order from top to bottom, like the spelling glanceability and all of that, but I'll just kind of use this as a guide. I'll just do spelling and grammar first. The spelling and grammar like looks pretty good for the most part. There's just some, uh, a bunch of places in here where words and stuff were like shortened to make it, I guess, more easily readable. But for the most part, the, the Google recommendations like tend to make sense here. So I'll just like go ahead and accept all of these like cool okay so getting in the very beginning i'll, I'll just go over uh glanceability and again glanceability is like when you first look at the resume in like the first five or ten seconds is it possible to really get a grasp of of what's going on and like how readable is it so for the most part this this looks okay like the the contact section looks okay of course i'll probably honestly like remove address but as far as as far as like glanceability goes, this part is okay, but this part is kind of, um, to me, it's like a big block of text with like a, a lot of jargon in it. So it's not really easy to, to easily absorb uh, and understand. It's like a little bit long, I guess. Air Force veteran of over 30 years experience in multiple, I'll just change this to IT, to be honest. Multiple IT disciplines, working as a, f a fielding engineer, air and space operations center, subject matter expert, information system security officer, senior systems engineer, systems architect, Configure, configuration manager, system administrator, and computer operations supervisor. To be honest, I'd probably like remove these last three things, like the configuration manager, system admin, and comp operations supervisor, because they're kind of superseded by these super strong job titles before, like information system security officer, senior system administrator, and system architect. I, I would probably do like this, to be honest, and just like remove these, because it's kind of like you don't have to put like all those job titles in there and like the ones you have are like already really strong anyway and this part diverse knowledge of hardware software and networks including installation configuration integration system security verification and validation this this reads um a little bit strange because diverse blah 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 this is like a verb a verb a verb and then this is a noun and then verb again and then a bunch of other stuff uh, in multiple operating systems. So for example, I might say something like diverse knowledge of hardware, software, and networks, including installation, configuration, integration, and application of, and application of security measures in multiple operating system environments. So diverse knowledge of hardware, software, and networks, you can say with extensive experience in with installation, configuration, integration, and application of security measures in multiple operating systems. This makes sense. And then I'll probably remove this like vendor specific thing from the summary because we talk, you talk about it later in the, the resume anyway. So I'll probably just like remove this from here, to be honest. You probably, I'll, I'll just remove this because you probably don't need to, I don't know, I've heard that you shouldn't include like your clearance and stuff like this, but I'm not in the military. So like, who knows? Um, also like, cause you're, if you're in the military, like anyone reading this, who, who's like, you know, who needs a clearance, they'll see that you're in the military and they'll see that you're doing like information systems. So they're just going to like assume that you have a clearance and that you're active in JPAS. So you probably, probably don't need to have that in there. So I'll just, I'll just remove it because I'm trying to go with like less is more with this resume. Cause this resume is like quite, it's quite uh verbose. So I'll just kind of remove that for the time being. 
thing. And then address and zip, I'll just change this to like city and state maybe. And then I might even put like, cause you have a, you have a LinkedIn and you have like YouTube also. I might consider putting these things in here, to be honest. I might also kind of decrease these to like the normal, the normal font size. Maybe do something like this. You don't have to have yours like this, but I might recommend it. Something like this. It, it's okay to have links in your resume. Cause a lot of time when people are viewing the resume, it's going to be on a PDF anyways. And YouTube can be nice. You know, sometimes it just depends on like where your content is, but it's kind of a good way to like let them preview your personality and stuff. So you don't have to have this here. Like I would consider it, um, but you don't, you don't have to have it. This looks better. Air Force veteran with 30 years of experience in multiple IT disciplines, working as a fielding engineer, air, air and space operations center, subject matter, ex matter expert, ISSO, senior system engineer and systems architect, diverse knowledge of hardware, software, and networks with extensive experience in troubleshooting, configuration, integration, and application of security measures in multiple operating systems. Okay, this looks much better. And then here you go like directly into your um, uh, experience. So before doing this, to be honest, I would for like glanceability and like the, that initial view of your resume, it's much easier to like read education and certifications and that type of thing. So I typically will move that like right after the summary. Like if you have a summary, I'll put like education and stuff like right here because it's it's way more easy to absorb. So I'll go down and grab that. And I would also segregate out your uh, certifications from here as well. So I'll just take this, I'll go back up here. I would like put this here to be honest. And then I would say education first. And then I'll have like a certifications section, like maybe like right under this, to be honest, certifications. And I would also, I would kind of put these things on the same line, for example. So for example, like the, the degree and then the name, the name of the institution and the date, like over here, like on the same line, I would also. I'll do this all at once, like really fast. So I would also, I'll probably rem remove this to be honest. It's a, it's a little bit redundant network theory and design classroom instruction because to, to me, cause you have a lot of stuff on the resume and this, this is, this is valid, but it's slightly, it's a little bit redundant in the sense that like some of your job titles are like super strong already and your experience like totally overshadows this anyway. So for, I would probably just remove this to like save space on your resume. And then I would remove this too, cause it's just redundant because you, you like your experience and everything like far outweighs this. Um, I'd remove this because you have you have it up here already. I'd probably remove this too because it's it's a little bit ambiguous in your experience like totally outweighs it. And I would take this. I would move these into the certification section. So I'll go ahead and just rework this like super quick. Cool. Okay, I came back and I go. I went ahead and reworked this. Um, I just you know put your education up here. Your your associate's degree and then this course and then also by the way you don't have to put the date in here if you don't if you feel like you don't want to like age your education or something like this you don't you don't necessarily have to put a date i don't know why why anyone would ask you know about it i don't put a start date on mine i just put the end date but you don't have to put a date uh, certifications i just kind of consolidated the security pluses here and i just put the ceh on its own line this this is like much easier to to look at and read from like the, like the first five second rule i can be like bam and just like look at this and, and see it and it makes sense and then maybe i'll like read this far i'll be like air force vet 30 years of experience multiple it disciplines and then i'll just like i don't even have to put any effort i can just like look at this and understand you have like as did some citrix and then you have a couple certs you know as you might expect from someone in the military doing it stuff you have security plus and then uh, yeah so this is like glance ability totally taken care of it's like much easier to read yeah onto the formatting part so i'm gonna kind of skip around on like the rubric a little bit because your your resume is like so big i'm just gonna kind of like go through it and and review it i guess um so there's there's one thing i kind of noticed down here like this military part i would probably like i'll probably make a, a military summary section so i would like take this for example from here i'll fix that formatting later and i'll put it like probably to be honest like right before your actual experience and then i'll just like summarize out like your different positions with like the job title and then the start an end date job title start an end date job title start an end date just so like somebody can if someone's reviewing this they can get a, a sense that you were you were in the military for 27 years and then kind of get a high level idea of you know the different areas that you worked in while you were in the military so i'll just kind of go through and inspect your experience and then update this military experience summary section so what should i call this military career something like this okay i will fix this and i'll be right back so we have the summary of military career kind of set up here. And this this looks really nice, I would say. Actually, probably don't need to put colons after this. Let me just like 
erase those really fast. This looks really good, except for I would, I would honestly like change some of these job titles like here and under the actual like experience section because some of them I can read it and like the words make sense in English but it might be kind of like ambiguous to technical recruiters so I even in like the normal I guess civilian world like a lot of companies will give like kind of weird titles to their their workers like some like weird like culture thing instead of like just giving them a standardized title and it tends to be like kind of confusing so I, I might go through and like change some of these to be honest like for example I just might like instead of having Having this like system admin master subject matter expert like I know what a SME is and civilians know what SME is but like I don't I don't know what the difference between like a master SME and like a normal SME is so, and so I might just like put emphasis on the system administrator and just be like senior systems administrator or something like this so for example just like get rid of this and say like senior systems administrator it tends to like make more sense of course you don't have to do this but I, I kind of recommend like most people do it who have ambiguous titles I even do it for myself you don't have to put like exactly like what your title is right and for example this one this master subject matter expert let's see what you did uh it looks like there's like a lot of citrix and stuff here so you could you know just think about it and you could you could make something like virtualization engineer right something like this you go back up oh master so we might we might change this to like senior virtualization engineer or right, something like this and it's okay to do this right it makes more sense to the people reading your your resume uh, engineering specialist command and control so for example this what did you do here maybe this can be like senior systems engineer and then this one can just be like systems architect so i'll just like do this something like this senior systems engineer and this can be system architect and then this principal software systems engineer we can just change this to like principal systems engineer this is a pretty makes sense people know what principle is that's like a kind of standard prefix and then systems engineer obviously most people know what that is and then you can probably just consolidate these last two to like um system administrator or something like this system administrator and just consolidate these experience like whatever the dates are you can just kind of consolidate them into one thing or you can actually make up a new title for this like configuration specialist staff just a configuration manager configuration management admin or something because people know what configuration management is like there's a lot of configuration management tools like sccm which i think you even included in here somewhere so configuration management admin and we'll just like throw that in up here so you kind of have these standardized civilianized titles here and then inside of the description the job descriptions too so this this tends to make more sense like if i look at this as a civilian most like i don't know what this is to be honest but everything else here like makes sense for the most part this education this these job titles all this makes sense makes more sense to me now some Somebody who has never been in the military before cool and so moving on to the job section um, I noticed you have like a current position slash responsibilities and then you have this prior experience like I would honestly like put all these under the same kind of category of just experience and then the one at the top that one will obviously be you know your current one or like the most recent one um based on the the date we put here so i would probably i would probably just like rename this like experience and then this this will just be like you know it'll just be one of those things and the way i would recommend doing this i'll probably reformat this a little bit like I'd get rid of these two lines because they're kind of like you don't need address and then job description is kind of redundant because once you start like listing these things out, it's obvious um, that you're showing the job duty. So you don't you don't really have to have this company is good. And then we, we already fixed your title. I'd recommend like putting like maybe company on one line and then like the title and date together on the next line and then just start listing out your experience. So I'll just like do that really quick here. Cool. And I'd also consider... I might even consider like moving this, the date like up onto this line. So I'll do like tab and then I'll make a tab stop and just bring this to the right line. So it's like not as uh, squished up together. Cool, this is, a, this is a bit better. It has kind of less things on the screen. These are on the same line. And then the title is is kind of uh, down here. And we, we kind of got rid of like the superfluous lines. And then I'll kind of go through this. I'll read this one job description or the stuff that you did. And I'll kind of make changes based on like what I think makes more sense. And then um, if you want to, you can kind of like do the same thing for these ones. But I, I won't like read every one of these because it'll probably like take a long time for the video. But I'll just get right into it. Uh, provides on-site and remote technical 
support for the AOC core supervisor. I don't know if this needs to be like capitalized. Um, core supervisor leading system administration team in absence of lead deputy uh, supervised and mentored team. Core supervisor leading system administration administrator team in absence of lead and deputy. I might I, I might like not say this part and I'll say like provided leadership to core leadership leading system or supervisor. I would say like core supervisor that provided leadership to the system administration administrator team because uh, it sounds like you did that anyway regardless of the the state of the deputy so core supervisor that provided leadership to the system administrator team supervised and uh, that provided leadership supervision and mentorship so we can get rid of this core supervisor that provided leadership supervision and mentorship to the system administration team Responsible for cradle to grave system security validation, including scanning, evaluating vulnerabilities, and providing fix actions to ensure hardening of systems. I might say something like responsible for vulnerability management lifecycle security validation. I would say responsible for pits vulner life cycle. This sounds like what you did, to be honest. And this is like a really standardized thing. Responsible for vulnerability man management lifecycle, which included configuring and running scans, evaluating the vulnerabilities in the scan reports and providing this, this sounds like, and providing re and, and executing vulnerability remediation to ensure hardening of systems. This sounds fair enough. Coordinates with the section leads and AOC SME compiling inputs. Cool. Yeah, this looks this section looks pretty good for the most part. And I notice you have this like software operating system hardware networking stuff. I, I assume this is the stuff that you used that you worked with like on with this job up here. But to be honest, like I'm not like a I'm not a big fan of just like listing out like a bunch of different software and a bunch of different OSs and like hardware and network stuff. Like for me, I prefer to like incorporate these things like individually in, or in each one of your experience sections where you kind of talk about like how you used each one of these things. And a lot of these things are kind of implied from some of your job titles, like, you know, senior systems administrator, virtualization engineer, systems architect. Like you'd kind of expect, you know, a systems engineer engineer to work with a variety of OSs or like virtualization engineer, you would kind of expect them to work with like Zen app and like these things like this. So you, you don't you don't really have to include these individual things in here, like especially for example, like you list you just list out MS SQL here, but you actually talk about it down here, SQL database installation and administration, you talk about Active Directory, for example, somewhere Active Directory and group policy and maintenance. So you don't have to just like list it out here, to be honest, um, for the things that are important, important, I would make sure to like try to incorporate them in these different experience areas. But I don't really like list out stuff like this, because it just like kind of takes up a lot of room. And it's it, just looking at this, it's hard to tell like what level experience you have with it. So for example, like Cisco routers and switches, you can go from like, you know, having plugged one in, and that's the extent of your experience to being like a CCI, CCIE making like the routers and switches do all kind of back backflips that they weren't even intended to do. So it's kind of I would just like to be be honest, I'll just like incorporate the things that you want and then just simply like remove the rest of them. So I'll just remove these just to kind of reduce the amount of space this takes up. But yeah, I won't read like all of the rest of these um, experience like in this video, but I will go, I'll go ahead and, and like um, fix the title for all of these really quick. So I'll just uh, go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so I went through and kind of fixed all the job titles and fixed the heading for all the experience. So it looks it looks pretty good to me. Title, oh, this should, of course, oh, these should not be like, these should not all be present, right? So whatever, obviously, like, whatever the date is, you'll just plug your your month and year in. But yeah, this looks pretty good for the most part. Like mil military is hard because there's like a lot of like weird terms, not weird, but you know, it's different from the civilian world. So it's kind of hard to translate a lot of these things into like civilian jargon. But for the most part, I think this is like pretty understandable. And I feel like like looking at this with your experience, you can get like essentially like whatever job, uh, I guess you feel like you, you have like a large range of jobs available to you as you probably know, like with your 
clearance and like military experience and all that. But um, yeah, this I would say this looks pretty good for the most part. I'd be I, I really want to hear like what people have to say in the comments about this, especially people who have been in the military and have like kind of transitioned out of the military who who had experience like job hunting and stuff. If you're one of those people like watching this, please like 100% like leave comments and like criticism about this. Um, I just did the best I could to kind of turn it into a resume that that makes the most sense to me and that's like the most easy to to digest for someone that who's in like you know the civilian world and the private sector but yeah interested in hearing any thoughts and comments on this i'll go ahead and put the the original resume and then as well as this kind of newly revised one uh, in the comment section so you kind of can kind of look at them a little bit but if you want to see a side by side i'll do like quick one right here so here's our side by side right here like this is kind of what i meant by like the glanceability how if you just like look at this you can kind of understand like more easily and kind of more quickly uh, than with this one you have this and then you you kind of have to somehow digest all of this not that you don't have to digest all of it but it's just kind of uh it's a little bit overwhelming because you you see this big block and then it goes right into the experience which is like relatively uh, like dense and it takes effort to absorb but with this one it's it's a bit more easy you can just kind of glance at this and understand and then maybe you read like the first sentence of this and then you feel a little bit less overwhelmed because there's the stuff underneath it is so like easy to digest if that makes sense you don't have to spend a lot of effort to kind of um, understand what this is but yeah this is kind of a long one i know it's kind of long i really appreciate getting this resume i hope i did an okay job reviewing it um if you know if you're one of those people who transitioned out and you have like you know criticism about this like absolutely leave comments and criticism uh, in the comment section i'm certain like op like the person who submitted this resume is going to read those i'll definitely read all of them too because it will you know help me learn in the future for when i do these more but yeah if you appreciate this video or my content in general please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the bell definitely help my channel out and i appreciate it a lot i also have a patreon if you feel like supporting me but yeah thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one bye bye